Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Eakin, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from B.H. Fairchild from his collection The Art of the Lave, published by Alice James Books in 1998. Uh, this was a finalist for the National Book Award that year. Uh, I'm going to read a poem entitled Speaking the Names. When frost first enters the air in the country of moon and stars, the world has glass edges, and the hard glint of crystals seeping over iron makes even the abandoned tractor seem all night sky and starlight. On the back porch, taking deep breaths like some miracle cure, breathe, let the spirit move you. Here I am after the long line of cigarettes that follows grief like a curse, trying to breathe, revive in this land of revivals and lost farms. It is no good to grow up hating the rich. In spring, I would lie down among pale anemone and primrose and listen to the river's darkening hymn, and soon the clouds were unraveling like the frayed sleeves of field hands, and ideology had flown with the sparrows. The cottonwood that sheltered the hen house is a stump now, and the hackberries on the north were leveled years ago. Blue stem hides the cellar with its sweet gloom of clay walls and bottles. The silo looms over the barn, whose huge doors swallowed daylight, where a child could enter his own death. What became of the boy with nine fingers, the midwife from Yellow Horse who raised geese? They turned their backs on the hard life and from the tree line, along the river they seemed to rise now, her plain dress bronze and moonlight, his wheat shock hair in flames. Behind me is a house without people, and so for my sake I bring them back, watching the quick cloud of vapor that blooms and vanishes with each syllable. O.T. and Nellie Swearingen, their children Losi, Doro, Dini, Bill, and the late Vina Adams, whose name I speak into the bright and final air. Um, that was B.H. Fairchild from The Art of the Lathe, um, Alice James Books, 1998. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading and this poem. Uh, it's a pleasure always to share uh work out of the uh, collections that I, I, I own. I always am looking forward to encountering new books of poetry, new poems, new poets. And so if you have recommendations and suggestions, I welcome them. Uh, please comment below, send me a message, uh, reach out to me in some other way. Um, I'm always interested in hearing from you and uh, delighted uh, to to try my best to, to answer those requests. Um, if you enjoyed uh, hearing uh, B.H. Fairchild's work, uh, read more in the description of the video for information about him, about uh, where to find uh, this book and other books, and, uh, and to discover more of his work. Um, for more information about the series, you can also read that in the description. But in general, um, we have uh, new episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Wednesday. I try to read work from contemporary poets, occasionally some of my own, and uh, and I also dip in occasionally into the past and read something from world literature or from the classics. Um, I hope you're uh, having a great uh, Sunday, and I hope you're finding joy in the things that you're doing and the, the work that you're reading and creating and engaging with in the world. Um, it's, uh, it's part of what we do as survival, but also um, how we thrive and how we grow and develop. So I'm grateful for this gift of literature and also for technology that allows us to stay connected. Um, if you uh, if you enjoy these uh, videos, please uh, consider liking this video, uh, subscribing to the channel. You can hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time there's a new video. Um, share these videos with others, and like I said, if you're a writer with a book out, uh, a poet with a book out, um, or have books out already and would like to be featured, please let me know. Um, and uh, until next time, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and uh, stay safe, stay well, um, do your best to, to keep on uh, moving forward uh, with whatever you labor in and whatever you find joy in. And until next time, um, well, we'll see you and I'll see you again soon. Bye.